turn my computer down, so actually, yeah. But you're listening to Strange Pleasure. I can't really hear. It's just this epic guitar solo, Richard Corson. Yep. Maybe we should just listen to this for a minute. <laughs> this is like 15 years ago. Oh shit, hold on a second. Here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna just make you guys listen to this. Oh shit, sorry. God oh damn shit, it. hold on a second. <laughs> Alright, I need a guitar pick anyway. Oh, here we are. Sorry, this is such a good song. It's like 13 and a half minutes long. I don't want to shut it off. <laughs> okay, hold on. Enough of that, enough of that. That's, uh, okay, so that was Strange Pleasure. And um, I've been there now defunct out of Portland, Maine. That's Ryan Sear on drums, who sings all the backups on many of my songs, including Two Wine Glasses. He, it was him and I that really did the draft tech collection. Richard Corson on the guitar there, who was just incredible. And I'm not sure who's playing drums. There was a few different drummers. It might have been Mike Chassis. Oh, no, no, Christ, that's um, Ryan Sear on drums. Again, the guy that sang all the harmonies with me. Um, John Clavette, uh, that's one of his songs. It's got the least amount of lyrics and it's 13 and a half minutes long. It's incredible. Of course, it's got these two truly epic guitar solos in there. Um, they were so good. I was very lucky to kind of be, I was actually played bass with them for a couple of years. A couple darker years. <laughs> I'm going to start with this old old but true number thank you guys for joining me um so can i can you add a link to it no janice that's not it's just not even online or anything like talk about uh they're terrible at being a band basically none of them had any of the things you need to do to be a band um they were just so good at music and they wrote such good good songs uh, maybe i'll find a way to post some stuff i've got a pretty good archive of really Mediocre recording. What's that? Can you add a link to that? Well, that's what I was just saying. I oh yeah, because you. Had, um, oh, I'm sorry. No, that's all right. I uh, I can't because there's no links. <laughs> there might be something online, but I don't think there is. I don't. It was just before the YouTube kind of thing, and people didn't just post everything. So anyway, they're great. Maybe maybe I'll add a link at my. Make a SoundCloud page or something, just to, so people can hear it. So cool. Um, so I didn't mess with any of the dials from last week. I thought it sounded pretty good. So hopefully, I get the formula down now after three quarters of a year into it. Can't 
stop thinking about you, baby. I can't stop thinking about you. Oh, I can't stop thinking about you lately. I can't stop thinking about you. Jolene keeps finding in my carpet, but she seems to be acquiring herself a little meal. Are you dropping crumbs out in here? I guess so. Dropping okay. some. Whole right. meatballs, by the way, she's chewing. All right. Jolene's a dog, by the way. The we didn't, we didn't adopt new, any she's real the children. New Roomba. <laughs> 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 well, um. How's it sound, guys? I think it sounds, it sounds, good. sounds good in my headphones. Diana, how are you doing? Hi, Lisa. What a great start. Question mark? I don't know. Was it? Because um, I'm wearing a hat. Sounds good. No, I didn't get a haircut. And I just cut my hair on my own anyways. Just every now and then. Part kind of sticks out too much and I go for it. <clears throat> and this is how I save $40 a year. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> cedar today. I'm a little congested because the cedar, um, my God, I was outside working on vehicles and it was... <clears throat> third highest level on record. That's, that's a lot. It's and a I was, lot. I've been blasting my face with that, with that steroid spray. It's working, but it's, I mean, I would be, I'd be, forget it. I had to come in just, you see, I had to wash every bit of exposed skin, went in there, washed I was just starting to get all just, lumpy. Just because if it gets on my skin, it just burns like fire. Is this shit here in um, Texas called, um, it's a juniper tree, it's not native, it's from, I believe, like, um, Japan or something. It's, it's mountain cedar, yeah. And it's bad. It's, like, so bad. I, I don't, I'd never had seasonal allergies. I had allergies to cats, and it does the exact same thing. Um, it took me about three years. It only comes out for a couple months, and it's quite severe, but I tried everything people said, all these home bullshit remedies like nothing worked nothing it was just you just felt like you had the flu and your face ran all the the wind would pick up and that would be it if there was just enough even like when cedar was over it'd be like weeks after and it would just be windy 
And out of nowhere, I like wouldn't even be able to breathe. My nose would be running. I'd be sneezing. Those, those glorious sunsets and saw the pollen and spores in the air. Oh, it's incredible, though. Um, it's just such a horrendous allergy. Um, so, yeah. Um, luckily, I found that some, some now it's over the counter. It used to be prescription, this nasal spray that works just amazingly. It just works. But today was a particularly good one because I'm still itching my face and feeling it. But anyway, um, that's one thing you don't have in Maine that... Um, if I didn't live here, I, I gotta say, I wouldn't miss it for a fucking second. Yeah, I usually try to travel this time of year, so I'm not here. <laughs> yeah. Well. I did one year, I get to go, well, that's what, I was doing that, that run with Ben Balmer at Key West, and we were scheduled to do them, then COVID hit. It was perfect, it was in January. Um, well, hello folks. Hey, uh, Roger and uh, the family. Um, so good to see everybody on here, as Karen mentioned to me earlier. Last one before 2020. Which, by the way, there's a movie on Netflix that I just died a lot. It's so good. Um, called uh, Death to 2020. It's a mockumentary about 2020. But it's done so well. There's like famous actors, but they act like they're just people or scientists. Wow. And people being interviewed. It's incredible. And the narration's great. It's narrated a lot like a Oliver Stone or something kind of, so it's like serious, but it's actually it's kind of a lot like um, I can't remember the crew that does it, but whoever made Spinal Tap and Best in Show and all those, oh, yeah. it's yeah. done like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good. Anyway, Death to 2020. Um, it rips on both sides of the political aisle in just splendid ways. It's both sides really deserve. Yes. Well, the Cedars 11 today. Yeah, we've, it's turned up to 11. It's turned up. What's that? I said, this stinking year is almost over. <clears throat> Not lonely. Hey, Jody. Yes. I wrote down two songs I want to do, and I don't have my list over here, but that was one of them. Uh, let me do it. Good call. Um, I feel like every time I do it, I, I do it differently because I've still never found the way I like to do it. And then I do it, and I'm like, oh, it sucked, and I get all butthurt and don't play it for like a month and a half. Then I feel like I've got another version. So we'll see what this... We'll see what comes about here. These crowded streets provide shelter at times. Out in the place to hide Surrounded by strangers I just can't relate The torturous small talk I plan my escape where I can be alone
that song in ribbons and put it back together again. It's driving me nuts, to be honest. It felt right when I first wrote it, and then I had a little bit of time with it. I'm like, nah. Oh, well. Maybe we'll get it on the next record, if there's a next record. They don't really make much sense these days. Speaking of that, I just put a record out, if you're interested. <laughs> Of that. <laughs> <laughs> my nah, singles. I'm taking a little bit of a break from music lately. I've been working on, um, bought, an, bought a car off my friend Paige, or from the Reverend for two. I brought her a car. They wanted to get rid of it. Putting time into that. And um, I can flip quite a few cars per year before I have to start paying taxes. So it's kind of an easy thing to do once you find a good number. And I uh, found a good one with that. So it's been, uh, it's been kind of fun. The cedar and the cold whipping winds tomorrow are probably going to put a stop to it for a little while, but it's all right. What works? What works? Hmm. Okay. I feel like I played that one like three weeks in a row. That was your mom. Okay. Well, okay. I guess I can't say no. Um, I don't know why I'm conscious of that. I don't like playing the same songs like over and over again, unless it's like a new one, I guess, and people ask for it. But, but I guess you know what? That's my job is trying to find the ones I haven't done for a while and just keep doing whatever you guys want. How's that? Probably what I'm supposed to do, anyways. Sell 
self-destruction, it's a guaranteed cause. We play with the future, ignore the past. Every new great achievement turns an old bridge to ash. Selfishness impose on mine You chase your desire From one tree to the next I'll no longer be following you With a ladder in it mm -hmm. You should know And do you believe We can out to perfection Well, that's the, uh, sorry, in the middle, I just forgot my lyrics. She, she's not going to run off with, those, oh, those are my good, that's my good shoes rack, right at her head level, just. No, she's not messing okay. with him, she's just kind of being a little freak. I was here. just watching, she was. A couple of little tiny rips in the space-time continuum. There's here. something going on, she was just looking in the other direction of the room, just like something was attacking her with a mace ball. It's a little weird. And now to get back at me for a... My pol the Polter guys, I'm afraid she'll dig into my favorite shoes. Because she's been known to. Um, <coughs> that's puppies. So, Harold Maude. Yep, let's do it. I had a version of this I did once, and I think I liked it. Different version. The version on the record is just so much better with drums and... Playing solo, it's different. So, me. 
See ghosts. So I can see a lot of shit. Um, okay, so Harold and Maud. <laughs> Karen's awful. I am. I'm a terrible person. I was saying, your mom said she was sorry, and I said, well, it's a long time ago. I said, but we felt bad because we kept asking him if he was seeing dead people. <laughs> Tell him sorry, I haven't seen her, so. It's funny. So funny, but <laughs> well, not funny. Funny, but not funny. But yeah, that's, it's just. Be glad you're not my mother. I'm not your mother, or whatever, for real. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> um, I had something I was gonna say. Fuck, was it? Oh, I was gonna ask um, any of you guys. Um, once the vaccines come rolling around, and you're able to get one. Um, actually, I'd like to ask the Andersons this because I know you're being extra careful. Um, if you're listening, are you guys? Um, you think you'll just go right out to music after you get your vaccines? Like, let's say you can get vaccines like next month, which might be probable for some some people. Um, are you gonna like? Can you? Would you just start going out and seeing music? That's all I'm. I'm wondering. What, what do you think you'll do? Like, if you get it well, next month? Well, well, the thing is, um, and of course, this is what I do for a living, so. I have a lot of confidence in it, and the data shows that after the second injection, 12 days after the second injection, you're completely, you're, you're golden. So you're protected, so you will not get sick if you get the virus. Um, doesn't mean you can't get it or transmit it, so I'd wear a mask, but absolutely 12 days after, I am out there. <laughs> I have to find somebody else to come help me do my I'm Tuesday nights. You and the dog, but still, I mean, I, I'll be going to live music after that. I'll be wearing a mask for other people's sake that haven't right. been, just in case I pick something up. And because uh, this new strain is a lot more transmissible, so I can easily pick it up and infect people. So I'll, I'll wear a mask, but I won't have to worry about am I going to croak because of this? Well, I'm trying. I was thinking about this today. It's like I wonder if I'm going to. Um, I mean, like, I kind of want to keep this going because I, because, you know, I'm not going to be, well, that's another thing I'll tell you guys about. Um, I kind of like doing this. Like, I actually really don't look forward to playing out in bars again. Like, I really don't like that part of having to do this type of shit. Once it's wide open, I really would like it a lot for particularly the people that I know and, and some people that I've discovered. For them to do once a month at least yeah, shows. Yeah, something like that. Because I, a lot of times, we'll, back in our heyday, we'd have five or six things going on in one night, and you couldn't go to all of them. And yeah. It, it, it just kind of, so that kind of helped us, and you can still support the other people and also see them, and then you'll catch them live next time and do a live stream for somebody else. But Well, yeah, I'm wondering, so... We'd see music outside. Well, so that doesn't really change it, though. I mean, you see music outside now. So, so even if you have the the thing, you wouldn't go inside. No, we wait until after the second one. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, after the second. Okay, right, good. After the second one. All right, I'm gonna play a um, song. Somebody asked about Ben Jones' song. 
like a couple weeks ago and I, I chickened out. I'm like, nah, I'm not going to do this. But um, I was messing with it today and I, I just love this tune. It's just it's a Ben Jones song. He's often on here from Beatroot Revival, but I don't know. I haven't talked to him for a few days. I should check in on him. So come on over, which nobody can because we're on lockdown. What you said about skipping town The only things I could see Through that old crack window Was the stuff that was nailed down But the price that you paid Was just too damn steep For some secrets that you just never asked to keep With one now on the road And the other in the rear view You're heading for high grounds But however far you're up You can never cover up the sound I really wish you'd stick around And come on over Meet me on the other side Come on over The water's deep but not too wide Come on over Maybe then you'll understand Pants. The price of a half out of tapestry The thoughts and good intentions you refuse to see So back here on the outside Looking in the place where I have to be But I'll ever fire you Jones song um, that you can find online. Go look up. Um, it's actually technically a Beat Root revival song. The Andrea, who I imagine some of you have seen me play with. Um, oh, I'm going to be in Maine this summer again um, at mid um, July through the beginning of August. David Jimenez is going to come with me. 
regardless of anything, unless it goes into some super strain. And, number two, you know. Yeah. But we're both uh, excited. We it was really a bummer not to have him there last summer. But we're gonna do a repeat of the summer before. That was um hella fun. Uh, postcards from hell. I think we did that one last week. I think that's all right. We can do that again. I'll do uh, we um, until it's over for James, which I think I managed to not do last week, which kind of felt nice because I felt like I've played that every day, every time. Everybody feel like, loves it. Yeah, it's good. Everyone loved General Store for a while. I couldn't get away from that, but it's been nice. People not asking for it to the point of like sometimes I'm like, oh, I'd like to play this, but that's just what happens. <laughs> Like I was saying earlier, I'm just more cognizant, I think, of like not playing always the same things. I've always been like that. Probably to my detriment. Probably should just always play the play the good the good stuff, I guess. But um, gives a little break too. It freshens it up for me. I like to step away from a song for a while.
myself some peace of mind in the afterglow of this beautiful mistake. Of this beautiful mistake. I just mentioned General Store. That it's nice to not play, and of course Jasmine says, "Can you play it?" I sh put my foot in my mouth in this. D I can't do mast. I can't do that song. Hold on a second. Let me think. Fuck. Oh, go. Oh, maybe. You know what? Let's train wreck this shit. <laughs> That's the end. It's one of my hardest songs. I I'll totally remember it after because yeah. I feel like I did it like six months ago. Uh, uh, hold on a second, though. Minus two. Ah, we'll see. I said I like to play the deep cuts and stay. It's just nice not to play the same songs all the time. And, um, I guess I'm going to have to sh put up a shut up, as they say, on this one. remember it. I already can't remember the first four chords, so the thread is not there. Sorry. Um, maybe I'll relearn that one. Sorry, Mom. Postcards from Hell, though. I'll, I can do that. Uh, Wood Brothers here. Sleeping in a doorway 
maybe for a living outside. On his back just like a cockroach, but he ain't waiting to die. Just what he feels. Well, that was for Fran and Bob. I hope you're staying warm. I hope that you guys want to stay warm. You're probably skiing right now. I wonder. Um, let's see. Jasmine. Okay, I'll, this is a. <laughs> General store has, I suppose, owes a lot to you guys, Bob and Fran, especially Bob, I suppose, because once I played it once at a show, I said I'm never doing it again. Then every show he was at, he yelled for it. <laughs> it's just, Everybody loves it. Yeah. It's all right. I get it, and I'm glad people. But if I had to play one of my songs for the rest of my life, which would be fucking terrible to have to do anyways, it wouldn't be this one. <laughs> do you know which one it'd be? I don't know. I tend to like the underdogs that nobody else likes or talks about. But then again, I think Furious Pace is probably one of my best. That's a, yeah, that's a good one. It's still not quite right. It's still a part that I want to fix, but it's still... It's still... It's all right. Um... God, my callus is a flaking off and getting caught. It's a big one. Right, we'll make it. I haven't been using my guitar calluses. Every time I play music, I play the piano. This is like a weekly thing now for me. This is my only guitar time. A shame.
mountain of brick brackets, a TV with a fat back. They sold you almost everything you own. Before you buy the farm, they're gonna sell you the stone. Before you buy the farm, they're gonna sell you the stone. Before you buy the farm, they're gonna sell you the stone. Before you buy the stone, they're gonna sell you the stone. to my credit um well guys thanks glad you liked that guitar top 40 hit no hits no more <laughs> mm -hmm. what time is it oh and never mind. yeah I forget my computer has it on the thing um Let's see. Well, it's been fun. Let me think. I've been burning through some really good books lately. Maybe I'll do a quick recommendation. I'm halfway through the Checklist Manifesto. You guys should read that. It's really good. Actually, you really like that. It's written by a surgeon. It's about how, like, well, his claim, and it's actually not a claim. They've tested it in, in different hospitals where, like, everybody in the hospital just doing checklists for the most basic shit is, is like, it brings infections down from like 40 percent out of so many people to like zero it's incredible anyway there's just a ton of that it's really good it's more than about just shit in hospitals but um that's what i recommend this week checklist manifesto i'm not quite done it yet no 2020 rants to leave us with no i'd say just i said it earlier but watch that uh netflix called um Death to 2020. It's a mockumentary, like kind of a year in review. It's just, it's um, fabulous. Made me laugh a lot. Um, <laughs> that's good. Let's see. I don't know. From Tom Waits. Tom Waits. Come on up to the house. Oh, James wants. Uh, from the wreckage. Um, That's probably a more fitting end to 2020. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do yeah. that one. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Like, I have a frog in my pocket and I really sing a lot. Come on up to the house is a good one, too, though, for that. But, yeah, I'll just... I'll end on one of mine. So, so wait. So, it's going to be 2021 next, next time? Yes. Oh my god. Everybody um, who threw a few dollars my way. Somehow, this is my one of my one of my last um, income streams. So very thankful to everybody who supports me, even a little bit here and there financially it makes a big difference. Um, and thank you to some of you. I get some really nice Christmas bonuses. I didn't expect that kind of action, but it's really sweet and. I'm always, um, again, it's 21 people on here right now, and I couldn't be happier about that. It's awesome. I don't know how. I just feel like some point it's going to taper off. You guys can't want to keep listening to this shit. You have a captive audience. <laughs> I guess so. I think the eggplants help, too. Yeah, three eggplants. Three eggplants. That's pretty 
this year and gets one eggplant. Thanks again. And I hope you had a good Christmas. I forgot to mention that. I guess that was recently. Blur. Anyway, have a good New Year's. Stay safe. Vaccinations are on the way. So we can all get back out with our face diapers. So, nope, no piano tonight. Next year, though. Next year, maybe. See ya. And thanks again. Bye.